In this video, I'm going to look at the aerial photographs that cover the cannons and cricket green area. So from my website, which are mystery notes, under aerial posos, Cannons House, 1937. There are eight photographs here. Remember the first one? Here is Cannon's house, and this is Madeira Road. Put zoom in on the house. Right, two levels of zoom, quite good. The building seems to be covered in ivy. Garden in the back. We can see the houses on corner side west, along here, and Madeira Road. These are the News of the World houses. So called because they were built at the time when the News of the World owned the sports ground next to Cannons and this land. I've got an entry on my website for that, these houses. Possibly built between 1922 and 1926. I took these photographs in 2016. And I came across an article from 1926. Which was in an architectural magazine being sold on eBay. It said that the architects were Colpin and Bowers. Cost approximately £600 per house. So this is 100 years ago. Materials, the external 9-inch brick walls, are covered up to the sill set levels of the first floor, above which the front has a projecting stucco band and a felt-roofed, sorry, a felt-floated cream-white plaster finish. The chimney stacks are faced with red sand-faced bricks. The window casements throughout are of wood. The halls and sculleries have, had, have red composition floors and the roof is covered with variegated sand-faced plain tiles. And the changes, most recently, some of the extended with porches, and no doubt those wooden framed windows have been replaced with PVC. So what else is here? Lot of areas, I suppose. Greenhouses. And other buildings. And we can see people. Somewhere. Met someone there. But let's have a look at another one. Oh, this is a much wider area of Jose. We have Cummins House in the foreground. And there appear to be circles of children on the ground. There's a tent there. Some kind of scouting unit, perhaps. So they to this. 26th of June, 1937. So let's have a look at... So as I say, this is Madeira Road here. This is Cricket Green. That looks like the service station. The Cranolap service station. Between the motor. Whoops. Hey, my Moses. Ah, uh, that's not what it looks like in this way. So, a bit of like, oh, this is a 1955 out. And there is a clip from Motor Memories. What? 
So it's at an eight at the side, so it was looking this way for long. Okay. Queen's head pub, it's only the flats. And Bram Coat Court, which by the dint of the shops are not there, and there's hoardings. Looks like this is where it was actually being built. There's Mitcham Park, the old Mitcham Police Station. The Tate Arms houses, and the allotments at the back. And as I say, there's some kind of a scouting event going on. And a cricket match. This looks very well attended. There's a number of people along the side. Yes, that's impressive, isn't it? Just about make out the creatures pub there. Dark Green West. The White Heart Pub. The London Road, which is used to be called the Broadway. This is Broadway Gardens. London Road Playfields. Big house there. Turn the map. Manor House. This Dotty 53 map shows that as the Manor House. And then we're in Fields. I think it's where the council flats of Burham Court, King Central, were built after the war. Look at that. Very good. This looks like the same view. Got any better quality? Yeah, so it's definitely being built, isn't it? As the hoardings, the, the shops are not there yet. So, oh, Bram Court. Bram Coat Court was built in 1937. When we look at Broadway Gardens, to look at a different map. We can see a row of houses here, paint here, which are on or accessible from nursery rooms, is on the other side of the parish rooms, which today is just a, a dead end. But here we can actually see the houses in Nursery Road. And those called Prussia Place. Who's the cell? Eighteen twenty. From the last girl from the Morning Chronicle, she is addressing every 1820. A valuable freehold estate called Prussia Place, situate at the back of the School of Industry, Alain in Mitchum, comprising a row of 12 neat substantial brick houses containing four rooms each, with gardens at the, in the front and back, now in several occupations of Messrs. Franklin, Kitchen, Buckle, Hayward, Cratcher, Foster, Savage, Dalton, Hughes, Whit, Richardson, and Hodges. At rents amounting to £120 per annum. Hmm. 
Also, 1906, four and five pressure plays mission, two, three whole cottage years, returning off Lursery Road in the rear of the old Mitchum National Schools. That's the parish rooms. Let's add five shenanigans per week, each to good tenants. These properties are situated in excellent sites for letting and form sound and small investments. Put in 1906. A curious article from 1911. Edward the Sunderland, which a mayor who's fondness for bed got him into trouble. Well, it might perhaps be unfair to compare Edward A. Parker, a middle-aged man of number six, Prussia Place, La Mission, with the allegorical dog of Ludlam, which is so lazy that it leaned its head against the wall to bark. He, according to the story of his better half, has of late years grown tired and has been indulging in a rest cure. Such a fondness for bed has he developed that his wife alleged that he has neglected to maintain her. And she was, in consequence, an applicant to the magistrate at Croydon for a separation and maintenance order. Uh, she was fed with him sleeping all the time. Really, there's a story here about a girl with a soldier in 1916. Well, if you want to read that, you can go to my website. I'll put the link in the description below. Let's go back to the photo. And we are back to uh, looking there towards uh, the Wilson Hospital. There's the Wilson Hospital there. So this is Cranmer Road. There's the Lodge to the hospital. There's the main entrance. And this pond. I do remember when I was younger, being surrounded by willow trees. I think it's empty now, completely surrounded by trees. Now, this is interesting. This is King George the Sixth Avenue, so named after the coronation of King George VI in 1936. Sorry, he came to the throne in 1936 when Edward the Oath abdicated. The coronation was until 1937, and his wife, the uh, late Queen's mother, the Queen Mother, had an idea that the country should celebrate the coronation of the new king by planting trees. What a damn good idea. And so, what happened here was that uh, a local man suggested that um, rows of trees be planted on what was the footpath or drive, if you like, leading up to the old house, the Cragmers, which is where the Wilson Hospital was built from, the site of where the Wilson Hospital was built. So the plan was to plant 36 trees on either side of this driveway to be named King George VI Avenue. And so, since this photograph is no, June 1937, it looks pretty much like what we're looking at here are these young trees that have just been planted. Isn't that cool? Oh, there's a bench there. And there are various young fellows, I presume. How do we go in the cricket? So this is the Crane McGreen, where recently trees have been planted. The other Dave Roth house. And they used to play cricket here as well. What about that? Uh, see you down the Cranmer Road, there's the also listed buildings, Cranmer Cottages. Look at that. Interesting. And Cameron's House. We're going to say in this particular part of the greens in front of the Cameron's House, these circles. Resume a lot of scout groups. And then the fellow's house on the side seems to be covered in ivy. Look at that. Very nice. And is that the walled garden? Peace garden. So 
So what was this one? This was number 10. Let's get on to number 11. And um, looks pretty similar to the one we just looked at. So move on to number 12 then. Another view of the Canon's house and the ground in front of it. Quality looks a bit better now. Let's have a look at Brown Coat Court again. Look, that definitely looks like a bird inside, doesn't it? There's a board up there and there's partitions. That's when it was just built. <laughs> this flat part of the um, the roof on uh, the Queen's head was like solar panels. Of it wasn't, but we just does. Yes. And that was 12, so we've got 13. Um, similar area again. And 14. Ah, this is a much wider area, isn't it? In fact, if we look at the, right at the top here, that is Deer Park Gardens. And so that's the railway line. And this looks like the distractor. Yeah, the refuse distractor. So that was um, the incinerator, basically. Or rubbish. Hmm, very good. Um, this thing is the Green West and it's Church Road. And yeah, it's difficult to wake up, but you, you can see you can see the church, the parish church. Extra hall. Don't take a bus. Critters Pub, that will be the fire station. And a cricket match in progress. And so as I quick look up the yearbook of the cricket club, I know what actual match was being played that day. As it happens, I do have a copy of the 1937 Mission Cricket Club yearbook, but that refers to the 1936 season. I don't have a copy of the 1938 book. Oh well, so I can't look it up. But anyway. It was certainly a part of the game. If you like this video, please press the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe, you'll be notified when I do a new video as I continue through these aerial photographs of Mitchell. Thank you for watching.